If all morality comes from the Bible, then there should be nothing wrong with Christians eating other people. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that eating the flesh of another person is evil. In Leviticus, it does list us as being unclean, as we don't part the hoof or chew the cud. But thanks to the dream and acts that Peter had telling him to kill and eat unclean animals, Christians are not subject to that Levitical law. Also, Christians don't consider themselves animals, so that rule may not apply. Leviticus also has washing rituals for touching dead bodies, and says that touching them is uncleanliness. But what Christian actually follows any of the cleanliness laws, mixed fabrics, or even the Sabbath? Leviticus also says that to come near a woman on her period requires the same cleanliness and washing rituals. The only thing followed in Leviticus by Christians is gay bashing and laws already followed by secular people as well. Leviticus also says that eating animals that died of natural causes is wrong, so you can't just eat people that die of diseases, but you can eat people that you kill, such as in war or people on death row, especially gays. So did you get this morality from your religion? No, you got it because science told you that eating humans was dangerous, and human meat could give you diseases like Crotchfeld's Yakov's disease, the human equivalent of mad cow, and other human pathogens that are specially designed by natural selection to be most efficient at attacking humans. Tribes and species that allowed cannibalism had more diseases than those who didn't, and the dominant societies ended up with cannibalism being banned in their code of law. Don't you think that a book that is supposed to be an authority on morality would have cannibalism directly banned? And for those of you Christians who don't believe in the science and ethics discovered by the way of natural selection, your book of morality says there is nothing wrong to kill and eat some gay man meat.